it's very nerve wracking when you're especially new, newly trans, or you're not passing by society standards, and to go into the opposite gender clothing section and not feel terrified is really hard. So being able to provide a space where you know it's very trans affirming, it's very much where you're okay to be and no one's gonna be staring at you is huge. And then um, the financial piece, everything costs so much, you don't even realize to wear a chest binder and all these other things are expensive, but just shoes, underwear, deodorant, men's uh, body wash, whatever it might be, or something like that, those things add up. So we wanted to make it a lot less anxiety and a lot less expensive for people. Transforming the Valley is a um, advocacy organization built to support and um, educate those in our area regarding the transgender and gender nonconforming community and their loved ones. So many things as we can do to make their lives easier and to help everyone around them understand them a little bit more and support them better, that's the goal. Right, okay, so what's going on here today? You can talk about it. Yeah, um, so today we are doing our Trans Closet event, which we try to have during every change of the season. It's extremely expensive um, to be trans sometimes, especially since you don't have an entire lifetime's worth of a wardrobe to rely on, especially when the seasons change and when you're trying to work on stuff. So we are, we take donations of um, gently used um, and new clothing and, um, what do they call it? I can't think accessories? Of yeah, accessories and uh, personal care products um, to help people, to help trans, non-binary, gender non-conforming people um, get the clothes that make them feel the most comfortable in their own skin. So where that comes in then is there is the concept of gender dysphoria and gender euphoria um, for people who are trans. And uh, gender dysphoria is when you look in the mirror or you're seeing yourself or even just you feel uncomfortable in your own body like it's not your body. Like it doesn't belong the way it should be. And then gender euphoria is the opposite, is when you look in the mirror or you're just looking at yourself or even just sitting around sometimes you're like, yeah, this feels right. This feels like I am the right gender right now. Um, and so then the clothes help with that, right? Even if a lot of trans femmes, they don't like their facial hair or they don't like different parts of their body, but then you get the right clothes on with the right cut and the right fit and you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, it's just a huge weight off of you. And all of a sudden it's like, I can breathe again. 